We are getting a new weapon in Minecraft, the mace. Let's have a look at what this new weapon can do. Yeah, so uh, after like six years, we're adding a new weapon to Minecraft. It's exciting. We almost did that in unison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the mace. mace. 10 out of 10. This update is a lot about combat and new combat situations and mechanics. And we thought wow. that a new weapon would be a perfect fit into it. So, so this one, did it just like one shot? Uh, uh, like this is, is it? No, it's not enchanted. Wait, 47? Mechanic. And we thought that a new weapon would be a perfect fit into it. The mace is a heavy weapon. So it's not intended as a replacement for a sword or an ax. It's its okay. own thing. It's something that the player can use to, uh, well, push people away. In Whoa. some sense. <laughs> this is the introvert's weapon. Yeah. You just, just push Very everyone away so. from it. It's just go away. <laughs> but wait a second, what was that earlier? There's, is there another weapon or, or something? Um, what was used here that kind of exploded? About combat and new combat situations what is that? and mechanics. And we thought that what a new this? weapon would be a perfect fit into it. The mace is a heavy weapon, so it's not intended as a replacement for a sword or an axe. Oh, what was the it's other thing at the thing. beginning, the boom boom it's thing? It's something that the player can use to, uh, well, push people away. Wow. In some sense. <laughs> this is the introvert's weapon. Yeah, you just, just push very much away so. from it. It's just go away. <laughs> Leave me alone. Wow. The core thing that makes it special is that the longer you fall before hitting your enemy, the more damage you're gonna do. And Wait a second, I can jump down now ravines without worrying about my life, uh, even if I don't have a bucket of water with me. Wow, that means this, this nullifies fall damage. That means if we fall with the maze from, let's say, we want to jump down into a ravine because, oh, there's this diamond oh, I can see on the ground, oh. But I don't want to uh, have the effort and use a water bucket or dig down there. What can I do? I just jump into the ravine with the mace and just hit the ground. No damage. I think that's super exciting to me because it really ties into like old school core Minecraft concepts. As we all know, all pro players here, when you fall down as you hit someone, you get a crit attack. You get a, a extra yeah. damage. So this basically takes that up to 11. And also, I think something that's like a small tweak that's kind of interesting no fall is damage. that if you land that hit, you're going to negate all the fall damage you would have gotten. So it's sort of this risk reward kind of weapon. <laughs> but kids, don't try this at home. Don't use a mace and jump down your house and hit the ground. In real life, kids, this does not work, okay? <laughs> that if you hit it, you're going to do tons of damage, blow everyone away and save yourself from Heck taking yeah. that damage. But if you miss, you're going to smash yourself into the ground, basically. Ah, so you have to be focused. Yeah. yeah, and it's really in the spirit of Minecraft too. Like, it's, it's a simple mechanic, but it has a lot of potential effects. I think you can use scaffolding to build yes. little towers you can jump off of and, and smash your enemies. It works great with the trial chambers that have so much elevations and different floors. And it's extra fun to use with the wind charge too. The wind charge is amazing. You can use the mace by itself. And it, it will feel good, but then suddenly you add the wind charge into it and you're a crazy bouncing, wind smashing, bunny hopping ah, it's called wind charge. menace that goes and smashes all your enemies. And it feels so much better. I think that is so cool that it's such a simple concept, very concise, but still synergize. That's exactly what was going uh, through my head. PvP, anyone. I feel like if you are doing some PvP with this, you're going to have like a lot of fun because you cannot only use this for offense, you can use it for defense. So let's say some dude is, is chasing you with a sword, right? And you're like, oh, I don't want to die. I've to take more, quite a lot of damage. So you can use this to jump on a tree, for example, and then turn around and jump towards that player from that tree and hit against so like one hit to escape, one hit to turn around and then hit or something, right? Like, for example, like what if you do like a triple hit kind of situation where you had a tree like this birch tree here, you hit this at uh, the ground, right? Then you land on the tree, you turn around, you see this uh, players running around the, the tree trying to get you somehow or, or get some blocks to climb up. Then you hit the tree to actually have a, a very high um, jump. And then you come down on the player and you hit him from like even a higher uh, situation, right? Wow. I think that has definitely potential.
simple concept, very concise, but still synergizes with a lot of stuff we already have in the update, and it really brings a breath of fresh air into the combat system. So oh, you see, that's really much excited damage to see what the players do with it. Oh, oh, wait, we need to tell them about the Breeze Rod. Oh, yeah, true. Right. So, true, the Breeze is now, they're gonna drop Breeze Rods that you can craft into the wind charges that you've seen before. Yeah, mm -hmm. so surprised you can me. craft it together with the heavy core. Yes. Heavy core is this new item. It's also decorative. You can place it and like build with it. But if you combine it with a breeze rod, you're going to get the mace. The mace. For now, you can use a trial ah, key for a chance of getting one from the vault. But uh, don't expect it to always be that easy. Let's just say it's going to be quite an interesting rare challenge. Rare, you say? Very rare. It's good to know. When is it out? It's already out! It's yeah, there! What are you Go talking about? It's what in the snapshot! Doing? Stop the- Come Oh, on. stop the video. Wow. I can't wait to use this new weapon. Like, it looks really fun and... Yeah, it definitely has also potential for PvP because... Like I said, you can use it as an offensive uh, weapon, right? But you can use it even to escape. Like if someone's chasing you with a sword and they're in melee range. You can use this to get out of melee range instantly. But you can also use it as a comeback from like a higher ground to hit a player. Or you can actually ambush a player by waiting somewhere. And then you just jump on that one and boom. Okay, so, so those wind charge thingies, right? But... With the wind charge, will I use a lot of wind charge or will I like uh, save some of the, the wind, uh, wind rods, uh, those thingies, for the maces? I think I will store at least a couple, at least like 10 plus for the maces, right? In case I want an enchanted one as well or repair mine. But uh, yeah, I think like this wind charge thingy looks also really fun. You can do like crazy stuff. And we saw you can also use the wind charge as an as a offense, right? Wow, you need to like make a farm at those spawners then and then you can like farm a lot of them and then yeah, it's actually really fun. But the mace, yeah, is it overpowered? What do I think about it? Is it like game changing? It's definitely like if you have like a fully enchanted netherite sword, you already like like almost like one shotting a lot, right? So does this break the game if you don't have it, but you run out with like a netherite sword, like enchanted with like sharpness and stuff? I don't think it's going to replace it, but one thing's interesting. We did not see an enchantment on the mace. Ha have you guys noticed the whole time the mace was not enchanted? Big question mark. Can you actually enchant the mace or not? Does anyone know? Let me know in the comment section because I didn't see an enchantment here. And I have to like further look into this to find out. But I actually like this weapon because I think it's fun also you can like jump around. And the me mechanic that you do more damage if you come from higher grounds and you hit the target. And I can use this now to jump into ravines without uh, having to worry about a thing, right? That's good. But yeah, guys, I can't wait for this new weapon, for all the other new things that are coming with the next update. It's really exciting. Like, so far, when I look at, like, Minecraft and, like, from the day it came out, that game, and where it is now... Like, Minecraft is a still evolving game that's constantly getting very nice and good and cool updates. Like, I love the new biomes we got not too long ago, right? Like, the, the cherry grove, for example. Like, even the mangrove swap is very beautiful. And we are getting, like, new animals soon, right? Like, some, some biome reworks. It's gonna be really fun. I feel like Minecraft has a good, bright future ahead. And yeah, if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.